What's up, y'all? What's up, everyone? It's my and Jess. Cover Philly fans back at it talking to y'all about the Eagles. Eagles, you know, once again. Of course. OTAs, you know, a little bit more about that. And damn, Macklin might be back with us, yeah. possibly. Yeah. But that's you the know. rumor. That's the rumor, you know. So we'll talk about a little bit about his season here, his season there, and then. Right. See what we like. Yeah, I mean, a little bit this, a little bit that, you know. Yeah. But uh, let's talk about a little bit OTAs for a little bit. Um, you know, Jason Peters and um, Marcus Smith and um, Jones, yeah. Donnie Jones, the punter, is still not there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can understand about Jason Peters and Donnie Jones. Yeah. They're both over 32, so. The less unnecessary snaps he takes, I'm absolutely fine with it. Jason Peters is 35. Oh, so yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm good with him chilling. Um okay. Minimum, I mean, uh, voluntary OTAs. Now, the mandatory is coming up next week, so we'll see how that, that turns out. Right, right. Okay. And, you know, Donnie Jones, he's like, what, 36, 38? I well, think so. Well, like, I don't know. If I don't know <laughs> that old, but he's, <laughs> he's in the late 30s, so, yeah, you know. Yeah. He's old man standards, Um, right. but, you know, we'll see how that works out. But, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you really think he need to be taking rest, though? I mean, he's a punter. Yeah. He's he a punter. He puts a lot of wear and tear on that leg. On them though. thighs? Yeah. Nothing in the, nothing in the other body, though. Like, yeah, I but how know. many punts per game? And I'm then saying, how many games? That's his only job, though. I mean, people lay their life on the line, banging their heads all day. When he about to get hit, he runs out the way. Oh, my know? gosh. <laughs> I ain't getting hit. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I mean, hey, teach his own, right, guys? Yeah, he needs some rest. Let's, let's not get yeah. it twisted. He's not a spring chicken. Yeah, okay. Um, speaking of spring chickens. Whatever. Not a real football fight. Um, oh. I'm sorry. Okay. It's great. Sound like hate, but um, speaking of spring chickens, Marcus Smith. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Why aren't you here? What's going on? So well, he telling us what's going on. He telling us that <laughs> y'all don't want me, so I don't want to be here. That's what he telling us. <laughs> That's basically point blank. So y'all should know that the Eagles um, decided not to pick up Marcus Smith uh, fifth year option. Right? Yeah, or yeah. Not to exercise the rights, whatever. Yeah, that was that was a while. That was yeah. like a month and a half ago. Yeah. Right. So y'all should know that already. Um, he might be a little disgruntled as far as that's concerned. And yeah, he but, might be trying to force his way for a trade, so... Yeah, uh, well, we'll see. I mean, we definitely can cut him for, what, a million and a half cap space? I yeah, think that, that'd that probably be a best thing for us yeah. because trade is not going to happen. Nobody wants him. He right. didn't do nothing, you know, so... And if he decides not to show up, he's going to lose $80,000 per camp. So, or is it per day or per camp? I'm not sure. Oh, per day. But uh, I yeah. don't think he can afford that. Can't afford anything. I mean, he's still on rookie contract. Like, you know what I mean? He didn't get accepted for the next year. So, I mean, he needs to play so he can show and prove so somebody can see him. So right. Somebody can pick him up next year. Or possibly, if he, you know, if he's not being disgruntled, he can come in <clears throat> in this um, off season, act mm -hmm. like he still want to do something so somebody can see like, oh, all right, well, we see that he's disgruntled. You know, he don't really want to be there, but he came anyway. Right, he's right. been a good player. So... But, you know, he's kind of making himself a, a situation worse. Right. Again, this is a little preemptive because this is voluntary. And next week is min mandatory. Well, I keep right. saying minimum. <laughs> um, next Cause week you Because is... you see him minimal times. That's why. <laughs> and, he's a minimum, he's a, and he's a minimal player. Minimal. Damn. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can keep on going with it. Uh, all you know right. I mean? Well, uh, we'll see how it turns out next week. Yeah, but, you know... The other thing we're talking about, Macklin. Jeremy Macklin got released from Kansas City from Big Red. Right. You know, Andy Reid, our boy, our yeah. coach. You know what I mean? I still got love for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He ain't nothing well, wrong. He ain't big, big red. Well, yeah, he anymore. did slim down. He did slim down. He medium red. <laughs> medium, medium red. Medium red. Medium red. Right. Like fuchsia. Yeah. Um, so just to refresh your memory, Jer Jeremy Macklin, not your memory, you probably know. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> he was with us for five years from 09 to 14, and he was released actually on what was his best year with us. Um, because of who? No, no, no. He wasn't released. Get, get oh, it right. Sorry. He was a free he agent. He didn't get signed. He didn't get signed. No, yes. no. But the thing was, he was going to sign with us, mm -hmm. but then he changed his mind. 
because of I'm figuring Chip Kelly. Yes, yes, you know yes. what I mean. That's what we think, and that, that was what the rumors were right surrounding that time, right? Because um, so. he definitely expressed that he wanted to stay stay with us, right. and after that year, he had again it was his best year. Um, but also, I mean, we got throw in though too. This does not cut you off. Um, he was like the only receiver on the team. Like nobody really yeah, go to. Like, that's true. That's why that's po- possibly. But, but he when, still had when, to catch it though. So. Right, right. And when when he, it was time for him to step up, guess what he did? He stepped up. Right, right. So he left us. He had thirteen hundred receiving yards uh, mm. with eighty five mm. carries, mm. and he had ten touchdowns. Okay, that's um, yeah. We don't need good. He started here. all games. Okay. That year, so I, again, you know, he stepped up when he needed to. Right. Yeah, we don't need him to do that here because we have Austin, Austin Jeffrey right. as the number one receiver, so right. he can play the, uh, the the second receiver or play slot, mix it in with Jordan Matthews, mm-hmm. or or play the outside, mix it in with for Torrey Smith, you right, know what I mean, right. or Nelson Aguilar. So it could be a whole. You know, listen, we need receivers. Like like we we shouldn't be picky. We should take any receiver that we can get. And it's considering the last. Couple years they dropping the ball, so right, if right. People, people catch the ball, they proven catchers, you know, ball catchers. Then I think that we need to just pick them up, just just FYI. You yeah, know especially I mean? since we don't know what Aguilar is going to do this year. Um, yeah. He has been very dismal for us, so I think they get an a proven um, veteran in there, and right. it might be an okay decision. He wasn't. Like, we're gonna be real. He was no TL, right? But um, he was consistent. He wasn't a ball dropper, right. you know, too badly. So it, it might be an okay decision. However, right. his last year with the Chiefs wasn't so great. He had um, right. half the t- the uh, totals that he had for the year before. So he had forty four receptions, five hundred and thirty six yards. Whoa, he got hurt though, right? Yeah, yeah he, he got hurt, hurt though. He yeah. did get hurt. He only played twelve games. Right, right, right. But again, that production, those numbers were half. Of what he did the previous year, his first year with with the Chiefs, okay. so it's understandable that he was released. Okay. Um, however, we would hope that if we were to even entertain it, he would be healthy. Okay. Well, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, but I really, you know, what I mean, I really want him to be here. You know, what I mean, for for we need more catchers. I feel we can't trust everybody. I know we got a young ones. We can't. Serious. Okay. Um, we, uh, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. But, um, Not catchers, the same baseball. But go ahead. Well, this is how I, I, I say what I want to say. <laughs> I'm talking about catchers, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so we need more catchers. It doesn't matter. The people that can catch the ball, that's what I'm trying to say. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, um, hopefully that can happen. You know what I mean? Uh, I know we got rookies. We just got raw receivers, but, you know, they can learn from them. You know, they don't have to play necessarily right now. So. Right. For right now, I guess that's it right yeah, now. We sign off. Sign off. Talk to y'all next time. Yes, guys. Please like, comment, comment, comment. You yes. can't stress how important comments are. Yes, comment and tell us. Like, what y'all think? You think we should take them or what? We should keep them? Yeah. I mean, take them or let them be. Go to Buffalo with Shady. You so know? That, that, that might be fun. And please subscribe. We're going to be trying to... Yeah. We're at 19 subscribers right now. We're going to try to do a contest once we get to maybe about 50 or so. So okay. uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you. All right.